history. Tomorrow gave what I could, but she called me a monster. Said she fell in love, then left, couldn't stop her. Little big stress, big plays, helicopters. Say I broke her heart, let me take it to the doctor. Used to be in pain, but I guess I'm really different now. Hey, what's up, everybody? Nazab here. Welcome back to another video on my channel and to another episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. And today, guys, as you guys can see, I'm back on the dark side of Lumber Tycoon 2, and I'm here to show you guys new exploits that are working right now that you guys can use to you know do crazy stuff go fly around and uh fill blueprints mod wood all the crazy stuff you guys want to do with scripting uh, i'm going to show you how to do it in this tutorial so yeah this is uh just the little introduction here as you guys can see i already have an executor running on my roblox um this is actually the delta executor which is what i'm going to be using for this tutorial but if I just go ahead and execute a script here, I can go ahead and show you guys that these scripts are working as of right now in 2024 Lumber Tycoon 2. And uh, as you guys can tell, this uh, is actually not too laggy. Like the game is actually running decently smooth. Yes, I still don't have the best like render distance or whatever, but uh, it definitely feels smoother than my last tutorial. And that is because I found a brand new emulator for you guys to use specifically for Roblox that will be smoother and will allow for higher graphics while exploiting. But yeah, as you guys can see, I'm running the dark uh, script here. And uh, yeah, let's get right into the tutorial of how to do this. So I'm actually running my game right now on Moomoo Player, which is an Android emulator specifically designed for Roblox. So for the first step of this episode, I highly recommend that you go and get the Moomoo Player over Bluestacks. Um, they are basically the same thing. Bluestacks and Moomoo Player basically do the same thing. It's just that Moomoo Player tends to run smoother with higher graphics, higher FPS, all of that. So I definitely highly recommend that you get the Moomoo Player, which will be linked in the description. But as always, guys, Bluestacks will be also linked down in the description as an emulator option for you guys. If you guys want to use Bluestacks or Moomoo Player, it's completely up to you. However, again, I do recommend that you use this one right here. Um, it's way better uh, in my opinion. So what you're going to want to do first is go ahead and click the big blue download Moomoo Moo player button and it's going to go ahead and download this file right here onto your computer. You're just going to want to go ahead and double click that. It should install the Moomoo Moo player straight away. I already have it on my computer so I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. But once it opens up you should come to a very similar screen to mine. Just like so, you should be on a very similar screen to this one. All you're going to want to do is go into Tools and download Google Chrome. I think it's not downloaded by default, but you can go ahead and just click it and it will start downloading. Once Google Chrome finally opens, you can go ahead and use it without an account. You don't need to sign in or anything. All you want to search up, it's right here in my recents, is Delta Executor Download, just like so. And this first link here is the right one. Again, this will be in the description as well. So once you click on it, it should do this, say verifying you are human. Just go ahead and check the box. And it should take you to this page. You're going to want to go ahead and click on Android. Then it will take you to this weird uh, like article looking thing. You're just going to want to keep scrolling down until you see the blue download button. Click on that. It's going to take you to another article. You're going to want to keep scrolling, scrolling until you see the blue button again. And it will say unlock with a free ad. Go ahead and click that button. Once this video loads up, you can just hey, wait the five seconds. I'm going to go ahead and mute the ad. And once it's over, you can just click skip ad and the file will automatically be downloading. Um, as you guys can see, it's downloading right here. I already had it downloaded. But once the download is finally done, you can just go ahead and click on Delta right like that. And it should open a little prompt that says install Roblox. You're going to go ahead and press install. This might look slightly different on um moomoo Moo player but it should be pretty similar pretty easy to do and once it's done you're just going to go ahead and open the roblox that it just downloaded which should have delta installed into it if it asks you to give access to roblox go ahead and press allow on that that's going to allow the uh, executor to do its thing we're going to go ahead and log into roblox now and just like that, once you've logged into your account, you're going to want to go ahead and just join a Lumber Tycoon 2 server. I'm going to go ahead and try to join an empty one. Just like that. And once you start loading in, the executor should automatically launch and ask you to go ahead and get the key. 
Alrighty guys, and I literally can't get the footage of me getting the key, so uh, all I did was literally look up a tutorial on how to do it. Uh, how, huge shout out to Delta Exploits Roblox for posting this video. Uh, link will be in the description if you guys want to watch this tutorial, but I'm just going to kind of watch it and explain what he's doing here and what you need to do. So basically, once you have Delta uh, downloaded and you join a game, this should pop up on your screen right here, what you see on this guy's screen right here. And what you're going to want to do is basically what he does. You're going to want to click receive key um, as you guys can see right there uh, this button right here you're gonna want to press that it's gonna copy the link to your clipboard so next what he's gonna do is he's gonna leave Roblox so once you have your link you're gonna paste it into Google and you'll see that right here he basically gets a checkpoint um, that says he needs to verify but then a pop-up comes up so when these pop-ups come up all you have to do is close them so you'll see him close it right there then he goes back and makes sure to check the I am human checkbox then he goes on continue and goes straight to link vertise once you're in link vertise you know you're in the right place so all he has to do now is scroll down you'll see that he's scrolling down and you're gonna scroll down till you see a orange button that says free access it should say get website actually it should say get website like an orange um but uh once you do once you click the button if it says free access with ads click that button but if it says get website just click the get website button and you'll see all these ads just pop up you're just gonna want to click the skip button right here boom he does it like so and now it's gonna open a second window now you don't want to close this window you see how he keeps it open you do not want to close this other window that he has open when you're getting the key so as he does that he's gonna wait the six seconds now as you guys can see he probably had another pop-up and he probably had to do the key again but just to show you another key tutorial that shows you how to get the key i already did all of this so that's why i can't show you me like i'm i can't actually do it myself but as you guys can see, this guy right here, he copies the key from right here, clicks receive on key, and then he gets the link, pastes it into Google, just like so, and it's going to open the same thing that, he, uh, that it opened for the other one. Um, there we go. So it should do this. This is exactly what it looks like. This is exactly what it looks like. So as soon as this loads right here, you're going to want to click on the read suggested articles button that pops up right here. And then uh, once you do that, you'll see that a pop up will open. You're going to just want to click on one of the random articles. It, do it doesn't matter which one. Or you can I think you could just scroll on this ba page for a little bit. You'll see that he's just AFK. He's just AFK. He closes it. And as you can see, now it says that he's done enough of the articles and it'll give him a check mark. He could click unlock content and then it should make him wait. So you can get a variety of different key uh, methods, but most of them are pretty straightforward and you can just do them. Most of them tell you to read an article or skip an ad. If it's in a link or a link vertise, usually all you have to do is click skip on the ad and it'll take you to the next checkpoint and the next checkpoint and the next checkpoint if it asks you to subscribe to a youtube channel just click the link open the channel but don't actually subscribe don't do anything just sit there for a little bit and eventually the key will or the checkpoint will be checked off and then you can move on to the next checkpoint if there is another one uh, but eventually if you keep doing the checkpoints there shouldn't be more than like two if you do like two checkpoints, you should get the key. It should eventually take you to the key. And then uh, at that point, once you have the key, all you would do is copy it, paste it into the game like so, like you'll see him do here. So this is what it looks like when you get the key. All you want to do is click this copy button that's down here. And then you're going to go back into your Roblox on your emulator. And you'll see that he got kicked out of the game. That might happen to you guys. You're just going to join back and you'll see that his exploits are going to load back in. And the first thing that he does is puts the key in there or it actually already has a key inserted for him. But you you might have to just paste the key in and then hit verify key. So once you get your key, you would just paste it into this area right here. Click continue. And if it's a valid key, it should take you from this screen straight to this screen where he has all of these menus right here on the side. And uh, the way you insert the actual scripts is on this screen where he's at with the little video game controller right here, um, the little Game Boy. That's where you want to go. You're going to paste your, your scripts into here. 
But yeah, guys, now every single time you rejoin the game, this will automatically pop up on the screen, which is the exact reason I couldn't actually show you guys how to get the key is because this keeps popping up. So I'm not actually able to go through the steps in video and show you how to do it because I've already done it. And for some reason, the key will not reset. Like it's been like three, four days and the same key is still automatically loading and uh, I automatically get this every single time I join. Uh, but once you get to this screen, you're pretty much set to, to launch any exploits. So that's pretty much it for the main tutorial here. This is how you exploit in Lumber Tycoon 2 2024. Um, it's not the end of this video though. I'm going to go ahead and showcase some of my favorite, uh, at least one uh, script. I don't want to drag out the video for too long here. But let's go ahead and just mess around with the script and see what we can do. Now, if you're wondering, oh, where, do, where can I go to get some scripts? There are some scripts on my Discord server. We do have a Lumber Tycoon 2 scripts section. We have all types of stuff going on over there. If you guys haven't joined, I say it in every video, go join the Discord server. But right here, uh, we've got some uh, moderators and stuff like this. This uh, junior moderator here, he actually gave us all of these scripts that we could use. And people are constantly updating these. So... That's pretty fire, um, but there's also other scripts that I will go ahead and put down in a paste bin in the description that I'm going to make myself with all of my favorite scripts for you guys, so you can choose from those. But for this tutorial, I guess we can go ahead and go with a little bit of a less known, lesser known script, although some of you might know it, is uh, Dark. So if I go ahead and just copy the uh, thing, I can literally just control C and straight to control V, click execute. And you'll see that it'll just paste it in even if it's 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 a little messed up sometimes the text appears like up here but um you'll see that the game freezes a little bit and there we go just like that we have a uh, dark running on our game so um if i go ahead and change my walk speed uh yeah this is a oh oh i'm stuck i'm stuck in a wall help help reuben or uh not reuben uh tom tom please i'm stuck dude <laughs> uh okay that was not part of the plan. Okay, there we go. I just had to fly real quick. But um, anyways, yeah. So um, what's good about Dark? I like uh, their auto buy. It does. It sometimes works. It's actually, it's not the best. Uh, the best auto buy, I would say, is Toad. Uh, the thing about these uh, scripts is that most of them are good for some things and then really bad at other things. And then so you kind of constantly have to be switching between scripts, rejoining games and loading in a new script when you want to do a certain thing but they do have like a bunch of pretty cool stuff however one thing that dark does have that a lot of people think does not exist in the game anymore is wire art so let's go ahead and just try to set up some wire art here oh i do actually have money on this slot that's kind of good that's kind of good now can i get max land with this let's see let's see if the max land actually works here so if i get max land that did not work. Um, certified broken. <laughs> certified broken. Um, let's go ahead and I guess buy some land. Actually, can I just do some wire art on the main little a plot of land just to test it out here? Because I, I can't believe that that still works. So if we go ahead and just go to Google here, let's look up some wire arts for Lumber Tycoon. So Lumber Tycoon 2 uh, wire art. And if the first thing right here is step. Uh, step has a pretty good history if you don't know step is actually in the discord server shout out to step by the way um also i might be looking very very weird in this video because my light isn't working like my actual light in my room so those lights are kind of like super bright on my face but anyways let's try to get like a little simple wire art just to demonstrate that this works so like if i get i don't i don't know if i want to get like some anime or anything like that that's kind of whack that's kind of whack i'll get this one right here I'll go ahead and get this one right here. And then uh, if we just paste the URL in there and we click preview. Oh, there we go. Oh, that actually worked. Okay. So that actually worked. It actually did place the preview down. So let's go ahead and place. Uh, let's select a wire, obviously. Let's go ahead and go with a white wire just for this. And click put. See if this will work. Now I'm going to try not to touch anything because... From my experience with Dark's auto buy, it starts to stop work. It tends to stop working if like you move your camera around or if you just start walking around or like clicking too much stuff, it, it usually like gets stuck. So I'm going to just let it run here. You guys can see I'm just auto buying these wires here and I have to buy 39 of them. You can see the progress like up here right above me. Um, it says auto buying. So I'm just going to wait here until it's done. Hopefully this actually works.
Alrighty guys, here we go. Three more wires. 37. Oh wait, two more wires. One more wire. One more wire. Did we get it? Okay, it did it. It did it. It did it. Now is it gonna actually place him? Is it gonna actually place the wire R down? Oh, it's doing it. It's doing it. It's literally doing it. It's literally doing it. It's literally doing it. Look. It's literally building wire art as I speak. It's kind of slow, but it's doing it. It's definitely doing what it's supposed to be doing. And there we go, guys. That is actual proof that wire art is still in Lumber Tycoon 2. Uh, the only limitation that I see with this uh, auto, this wire art right here is that uh, a lot of the wire arts that used to exist back in the day, like the bark ones, they don't work with any script. You have to use the Bark script for it. Uh, so unless there is a working Bark version that is out right now, which I think there is. I am actually pretty certain there is a working Bark version out there. Um, but we just, I just, I haven't, I haven't found it yet. I haven't found it. But if I found it, that would be pretty crazy. Um, but another pretty cool thing about this script here, if I go ahead and auto buy myself a sawmill. Let's go ahead and go to Wood R Us. Select item, search. Sawmill. The Sawmill 4L, just like that. We just buy one of those real quick. Just like so. And grab ourselves the Sawmill. So the auto buy does work pretty decently. But one thing that's pretty crazy about this script is the mod log option. So another thing that a lot of people think is not in the game anymore. But yeah, you can actually mod massive logs with this. So let's try it. Let's go ahead and set our settings here to super high. And then if I just go ahead, let me actually auto buy myself an axe real quick. Silver axe. I guess it's not called that. Axe. Silver axe. Yes. Buy me one of those real quick. Just like so. And then I open that. Pick it up. And then I can go in here. Go to the wood menu. And then bring tree. Let's go ahead and get ourselves an elm tree. Oh, that's not even a thing, I guess. So from what I think I know, I think it's actually called oak and it it's actually an elm tree. Oh yeah, I'm right. I'm right. It literally thinks that this is an oak tree for some reason. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just going to auto chop this tree, bring it back to my base really fast, just like so. There we go. And let's just test out this mod log thing because I'm pretty sure it works. So let's see. Uh, select a sawmill. So let's click our sawmill here. And then mod wood. Click the tree. And just don't click anything on your screen. Let it do what it has to do. I'm not sure what it's doing right now, but it's doing something. It's doing something. I, I have no idea what it's doing, but it's doing... Okay, yeah, that I have no idea what that was. Okay, but I think it literally just modded that wood. Look at that. I'm getting a massive freaking piece of wood, guys. That's insane. That's insane. Um, so yeah, you could mod end times wood with this and all of that craziness. Um, but yeah, just a quick little showcase here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, Dark is a pretty... I've never heard of this uh, script, but it actually has some pretty good uh, little features on it. So yeah, make sure you guys check out all the scripts. There's going to be a bunch of scripts down in the description. Again, I'm making my own paste bin. I'm going to put Step Shop in there. All of the good scripts that you guys need to know about and all of that good stuff. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial or it helped you out in any way, please be sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe, and thank you guys for 500 subscribers. Again, means a lot to me. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.